So this practice is a breath-based practice of compassion. In the holokinetic sense, compassion begins at home. It begins here in the body. There isn't a separation between self-compassion and other compassion. Compassion for yourself and compassion for others. That's a, from the holokinetic perspective, that's a facile understanding. It's a, it's a, a splitting that's unnecessary. Yeah. So compassion begins here. Compassion begins right here. So we're going to use a breath-based practice of compassion to find compassion for all the different uh, facets of our living experience and extend that from the center of our experience outwards into the mandala yeah, of our world. It's good to do it with your eyes closed or half closed. Mm -hmm. When you get really skilled at this practice, you can do it walking down the road. But in the meantime, do it with your eyes closed or half closed. And you're gonna get the feeling of the breath as if you're breathing into the heart space. The name for that in Sanskrit, by the way, is the Hridayakash. Hridaya is the heart, Akash is space. So Hridayakash. Yeah? But we're going to get this feeling of breathing into the heart here on the in-breath. And then breathing out from the heart on the out-breath. Expanding outwards from the heart on the out-breath. So it's a breathing into the heart. Brief hold, hold that energy in the heart space. That's not in the physical heart, the physical heart is slightly to the left. Hold that space in the center of the, the heart space, center of the chest, and then breathe out. Expanding outwards. So breath into the heart space. Brief hold and breathe out. Great, so that's the essence of the practice that we're gonna be doing. As you're doing it, you're gonna have a relaxed jaw, soft lips, a gentle smile in place, tongue up behind the top teeth like we've done before, eyes closed. And I'll talk you through the practice now. So settle yourself comfortably and get super relaxed. Sitting tall, sitting well. Tune into the audio web around you. That's for four breaths or so, we're going to tune into the audio web. Tune into the breath in the nostrils. Be mindful of the breath in the nostrils. And then scan the body with the breath. Scan the body down and up with the breath. Whole body. Whole body. For the next part of the practice, what you're now going to do is breathe as if you were breathing the whole body, without exception, into the heart space, into the alchemical chamber of the heart. And you hold the whole body in the heart with compassion, with love, in luminosity, and then you breathe out to the whole body kindness and appreciation. Kindness and appreciation to the whole of this physical experience of existence all of the bones, the muscles, the organs, everything. You're breathing out this kindness and appreciation. Breathing it into the heart space. Holding it there briefly. Yeah. Holding it in compassion, in kindness, in appreciation, in luminosity. And then breathing out that kindness, compassion, care, luminosity, or even just kindness and appreciation to every single part of you. 
And you've got to breathe out particularly to the parts of you that you have a history of not loving. So if there's ever been any unlove in your body, you breathe out more compassion, more kindness, more appreciation to those parts. Kindness and appreciation to the whole of the physical body. And then you're going to breathe the whole of the emotional body into the heart space. And that means every emotion you've ever felt or experienced. Every emotion that you haven't felt or experienced. And every emotion that you could feel or experience. The whole of your emotional possibility, your emotional world, you're bringing all of that into the heart space and holding it there in kindness, care and appreciation and breathing that out yeah, to the whole of the emotional domain. Every single breath. You're breathing out that kindness, that care, that compassion and understanding to the emotions. The emotions are information, they're body-based information about how we experience being separate from or connected to other members of our group. Body-based information about how connected or separate we feel from meaning and purpose, direction. Really good, really good. Full compassion to all the experience of emotional flow. And next you're breathing in the whole of the mind, and the domain of the mind into the heart space. And that includes beliefs and values, yeah, ideals, ideas, thoughts, all the different thoughts, whether they uh, oppose each other or not, conflicting thoughts, the whole variety of thoughts, without any judgment, we're breathing those into the heart space. Yeah. Stories, narratives, meanings, apprehensions about the future, all the possibilities of the mental domain, we're breathing that into the heart space, holding all that activity there for a moment or two in the heart, in care, in kindness, in compassion, in understanding, in luminosity and breathing out all of those qualities into the mind, the mind sphere, the new sphere, breathing it all out. And again, breathing it all into the heart space and holding it there. Again and again we're doing this. Understanding that all the narratives and meaning making and beliefs, mental activities that we do, are there to try and help us make sense out of the universe, make sense of our place in it, and to feel safe in that. And we're going to be kind to all of that mental activity, without any judgment. We're going to be appreciative of that mental activity, for the amazing job it's done, of helping us to try and make sense out of everything, try and find our place in things try and feel safe in the flow of life. Even though it can't do it, it doesn't matter. The mind's been busy trying to do that and we have compassion for that. And then the whole of the electromagnetic body all the flow of ions and particles, the electromagnetic flow that we also are. It's positive charged in, in, the, in, the, in the atmosphere, negative charged on the earth, and that flow of ionic particles that flows through us. 
you know, through the gel soul of the fascia, through the lines, the meridians, the nadis, you know, that interdigitates with the electromagnetic flow of the planet around us, that emanates through us. You know, the heart is the most electromagnetic organ in the body. All of this flow, we breathe out into the heart space and hold it there. Breathe out kindness and appreciation. And importantly here, we breathe out clarity, clarity, clear flow. Inhaling, drawing it into the heart space, holding it briefly, and breathing out kindness, appreciation, clarity to all this electromagnetic flow. Now the whole of the body, the whole of the body-mind, body, emotions, mental activity, electromagnetic flow, breathing it all integrated into the heart space and holding it there in a cohesive, clear, beautiful, integrated way. Kindness, compassion, care, luminosity, and breathing that out, breathing that out through the whole of our living experience. Now we breathe in the concentric circles of our world, of our relationships. Those relationships with people we hold dear, close to us. However those relationships are, whatever shadows there are in those relationships, whatever conflicts there are, whatever difficulties there may or may not be, we breathe it all into the heart space and hold it there in care and appreciation and kindness and breathe out that kindness, that appreciation, that compassion to all of those relational experiences. All our interrelationships, all of our interrelationships, breathing them into the heart space and breathing out all this goodness, care, kindness, appreciation, compassion to all of them without exception. And then into the next concentric circle of relationship, which is people we don't know so well, or maybe don't even know at all. The people in our town or in our city, the people around us, the people in our country, all those people out there with their fears and their joys, with their anxieties, with their depressions, with their uh, happiness, with their momentary happiness. Yeah? However they are, whoever they are, without exception. Breathe them in, in their shadows and in their joy, in their peace, in their contentment, in their desperation and difficulty. Breathe them into the heart space, the infinite eternal heart, and hold them there in kindness and care and compassion, luminosity, and breathe those qualities out to all of those individuals. And then the third concentric circle is all those people who struggle so difficultly. They struggle so much with damage, with hurt, with pain, with suffering on the inside that they act out that harm into the world. 
those people who are in prison, those people who have murdered or hurt people or raped people, those people who harm children, the politicians who are so greedy that they would sell out their country or destroy their planet for their own personal aggrandizement, green or power. Those people who are so caught up in hate that they don't see the similarities between themselves and other living beings. And they make other people into the other, the other one that is hated, the other one that is to blame. All those people who struggle in such complex difficulty of suffering, breathe them into the heart space. Breathe out understanding and the compassion that arises from that. Care to all of those beings. Fully understanding if all those beings had had the right care, the right consideration as youngsters, they would be behaving differently now. They were behaving in more kind, appreciative compassionate and enlightened ways right now. So even in retrospect we send them that gift of kindness, care, compassion and luminosity. And then we breathe in the whole inseparable web, body, emotions, mind, electromagnetic flow, relationships, the whole weave of inseparable, interdependent, intercommunicative space-time into the heart space. And breathe out kindness, care, compassion to all of it, without exception all of this that we also are, without exception. Breathe it into the heart space. Hold the weave of space-time in your heart and breathe out kindness and appreciation and care to every single atom, subatomic particle, all of it, as if it all mattered, as if it were all connected and inseparable, which of course it does and it is. And we are this, we are this, breathing all of this into the heart space as us and breathing it out as us, kindness compassion, care, appreciation for this living experience. And to finish this practice we're going to take a deep in breath. We're going to do four breaths humming. Breathing out, humming as loud as you can. Mm -hmm. Now to complete this practice, you have to go out into the world and be good, be compassion, be love, be good, and be loved. Yeah. We can't do this practice and then not live it. So living the vision, living the truth. Yeah. We don't have to do good. It's not about doing good. 
It's about being good. And when we are just good, then that goodness emanates through us into the world in the right way, in the right action, at the right time, at the right place. And just do that thing. Be that thing as you're doing it, in flow. And you wreak goodness everywhere you go. Take a deep breath in. Let's breathe out together. Now the mantra of consciousness is the mantra Om. Ah, ooh, mm. It's three open throat sounds. Ah, ooh, mm. I talked a little bit already about the capacity to do conscious breath work is based on our capacity to talk and to make noise, to make sound. And these three sounds are all open throat sounds. If you feel them, the only thing that changes is the is the structure of the lips. So you take a breath in, ah, the lips are open. Ah, the tongue is level in the mouth. Ooh, the lips become a circle and the tongue is level in the mouth. Ooh, and mmm, the lips are closing, but the tongue is level in the mouth. Mmm. And that represents the three psychological states of being awake, everyday consciousness, being asleep, deep sleep, and dreaming. Yeah? So we've got those three places, awake, dream, deep sleep, and then awakened consciousness, which is the continuity of consciousness through all the states of waking, dreaming, and deep sleep. You don't have to chant this. If this smacks of religion to you and you don't want to do it, then don't do it. But I invite you to play with these sounds. So we're going to do it simply with the four parts. Ah, oo, mmm, and then the silence at the end of it. Okay. And feel the vibrations. If you feel each of those vibrations individually first, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Make the sound ah. Oh. Where do you feel it in your body? I feel it down here. Wherever you feel it is right. And then ooh, deep, deep breath in, and ooh. ooh. I feel that here. So the R is around here for me, the ooh is around here for me. Where is it for you? And the mm, mm, I experience that right in the middle of my head. Yeah? And then the silence at the end of it. So I'm going to take a deep breath in. If you want to do it with me, do it with me. Take a deep breath in. Oh. And again. I'm aware there are issues for people chanting those kind of sounds. They're just sounds, they're just vibrations, and they reflect the states of consciousness. So I'm inviting you to understand the practice like that. It's not about religion. Religion co-opted the practice. Yeah. So you find the sounds like uh, it's Amen and Amin in some religions, and Om in other religions. But we're not doing it in a religious way, other than it helps us to reconnect to what is deep and true in us and in our relationship and alignment to all of everything that is. Which is basically what religion means anyway. It means to reconnect. Yeah? So I would use the term holokinesis, holokinesis, which is that reconnection. And you find the way that that works for you. And if making a sound, feeling into the vibration and what that sound represents works for you, then do it. And if it doesn't, don't. It's very simple. Great stuff.